we come we come on this new day and we come and we celebrate the gift of beauty that the supreme has given to us but first for those who may have joined us or may watch this live recording and for those who don't know who I am I'm brother Sean and I ask you to invite me into your space so that together we can come to the table of many blessings and embrace the cosmic Christ and listen not to what we want to hear but connect with our heart to reawaken our heart to our sacred truths our divine truths and listen to what the cosmic Christ is really trying to say to us it may be that we've put obstacles in our way maybe we might have read something about 2012 that may have caused us some alarm or disquiet and everybody is entitled to their point of view <clears throat> but the secret of 2012 is about a personal relationship with the I am presence with the mystical heart of God and it's so important that we come to a place of stillness and in our silence that we reawaken our heart and connect with the cosmic Christ and listen listen and wait patiently for that voice to speak to us but first we have lit our candle for peace in thanksgiving to Gaia our earth mother and we light it for global peace and interspiritual unity on all levels so that all our brothers and sisters the sons and daughters of God who share different beliefs will come and sit with us at this table and help us all to discern what is God saying to our hearts what is our spiritual teachers trying to tell us and how should we prepare for the influx of light in 41 days time so in the name of our beloved Father Mother God Supreme who creates life in the name of the cosmic Christ who loves life in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life in the name of Gaia our beloved Earth Mother for she nurtures the divine life in all our lives and in the animal kingdom and in the name of all faith traditions and none for they are the sons and daughters of God our brothers and sisters let us celebrate our spiritual diversity as we come to this table of knowledge to a table of love where no one is rejected and where all are welcome and it is good that we are given this opportunity to reawaken within our hearts within our soul's DNA that truth that sacred truth that we are a beloved of God and that God does not ask you or me to perform tricks to jump through hula hoops <coughs> excuse me to do the impossible 
but to come as we are, to come in our woundedness and in our brokenness, to come in our discouragement, to come as a beloved of God and take our rightful place here at this table. So I welcome you. And now let us just be still. Let us be still because maybe you've had a stressful day. Maybe you've been all over the place. Maybe you've been unhappy today. Maybe you've been sad, in pain or discouraged. Or maybe you've had a wonderful day. Well, if so, bring your joy, bring your laughter and your tears, and let us sit together. And let us sing now with Gaia. With our mother, all our lives, we shall and in the presence of Gaia, the nature spirits, and all that is sacred around us, let us come hand in hand to this table. And now I'm going to call on the Cosmic Christ, the one who is, who is present with you now, and who is present here with me. And let us take his words to our heart. Let us take them seriously, because he said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do for you. Father, Mother, God, we come searching for your love, searching for your truth. Speak to our hearts through this 30-minute recording and allow our hearts sing with your heart. Allow the disquiet, the sadness and the negativity that mankind is inflicting unfairly on your children. Let us come now and let us use our gift of free will to celebrate the influx of the Christ consciousness. So let us relax, feel comfortable, let us kick off those shoes and allow our toes to move around with freedom of expression. Let us relax the muscles in our legs, in our arms, in our neck, in our shoulders. Let us move our fingers. Let us take a deep breath. And let us release any tension. And let us feel the peace, the peace of a loving God, the peace of a beautiful earth mother who truly cares about creation and who wants to share with us about the cathedral of life, creation. So for our reflection this evening, I would like to share with you some heart responses on the theme. And the theme is the gift of beauty from the Supreme. And that gift of beauty is within and around us. But not many see the beauty because of the tears and the sadness. So let us reflect. <clears throat> the beauty of the world, as many have felt, 
is the strongest evidence we have of the goodness and benevolence of the Creator. Not, of course, that the world was made beautiful for our sake. It is beautiful because its author is beautiful. <clears throat> and we should remember that when the old writers spoke of God as the author of nature, they used the word in as much the same sense as if we said that a man was the author of his own photograph. But we are allowed to see and to enjoy beauty. Yes, we are. We see it the moment we open our eyes. Beauty. We see love in creation, don't we? We see so much goodness in all of creation. And all we have to do is to open our eyes and see what the Creator has made for us. <clears throat> Beauty is a general quality of nature, and not only of organic nature, Crystals are also very beautiful. The perceiving mind must also be beautiful and healthy. The vile or vulgar mind not only cannot discern beauty, it is a great destroyer of beauty everywhere. The love of beauty is supernatural. It's superpersonal and disinterested, like all spiritual values. It promotes common enjoyment and social sympathy. Unquestionably, it is one of the three ultimate values ranking with goodness and truth. For you and I to see the cosmic Christ, and to behold, to enfold, to hold and to listen to that inner voice of the Christ and to be able to see the beauty in the eyes of the Beloved who's willing to take a chance, who's willing to trust that you and I will respond and that we will try and see the beauty of all that is created for us. But do we see it? Do we imagine it? Or do we play games with this beauty? I truly believe that my God, your God, our God, the creator of beauty, is evident in everything we can see, touch, feel, smell, and even taste. You only have to go for a walk through the woodlands and smell nature. You only have to stand on the top of the mountain and look down at the valleys below. You only have to look beyond the horizon or look into the face of a rose, a beautiful rose, even an orchid, and there you will see more than beauty. You will see an array of color and you will ask yourself, why would God the Creator do this for me? because we are loved. And if we can behold the beauty of God in ourself, and we can see and touch the divine in us and around us, then it enhances, 
it accelerates the influx of love from the cosmic Christ. And one doesn't have to be a believer. No. One doesn't have to convert and become a monk like me. No. One doesn't have to become anything other than oneself. All you and I have to do is to be still. To be still and acknowledge that we are loved. We may not feel loved in this life. We may have come through a traumatic relationship with another human being, or we may be living in a relationship where there is no love. Or we may be hurting in our mind, in our body, in our spirit. But regardless of who we are, what we are, and where we are at in our mental, physical, emotional, psychological, or spiritual life, we are loved. Do you believe that? Do you believe that God created beauty just for you and me? Do you believe that we were brought here, not as a punishment, but as a gift. Our presence on earth is a blessing. It is a blessing. We may not feel it, really. There have been times in my journey where I felt that I was an inconvenience. There were many times, too, and I wanted to be beamed up and end this life because at times it's been so painful especially when people reject you and when people accuse you of being somebody you're not especially when you offer someone the hand of friendship and they suddenly turn it round and turn the tables on you such experiences rape the beauty of God within us, even illness. Depression, for me, I believe, is a blocked crown chakra. It's where the crown chakra is blocked to beauty because there are so many unresolved issues that we may have carried from another life and not face them and bless them and release them. So let us come to this table and let us see in front of us now the Cosmic Christ. For this short meditation, I'm going to rely totally on the Christ to speak through me. So let us close our eyes. And let us say to ourselves our chosen mantra, the mantra that resonates with you. For me, the mantra I will use, I am a beloved of God. And I am loved. I am accepted as I am. And as I breathe in, I'm breathing in the love of nature, the love of my pets and all the beauty around me. And in my out breath, I am releasing many unshed tears where I denied myself the opportunity to see beauty. So as we relax now, let us be mindful that directly opposite to us, at this table of many blessings, we see the Christ. We see this young man and we see his aura of gold. Can you see the aura of gold? 
It is a beautiful aura. But in the center of the aura, you see a heart. A heart that is beating with love. And suddenly, as you are there, a ray of light flows from that heart like an arrow piercing your heart. And it brings with it a shaft of light, a ray of light, a ray of hope. And we are still. And all we can see is the mystical heart of the Christ. And we can see it pulsating and beating just like a normal heart on an X-ray. But in that heart we see a face. We see a face. And the face is our face. And the face is love. And our face is smiling. It is smiling. Because in seeing our face in the mystical heart of the prize, we can see the Father, Mother, God. Let us relax now. Let us be still in the presence of the Christ. And something beautiful is happening here. We are being touched by the healing touch of the Christ through the mystical heart of love, which is caressing us in our being. And you can feel every beating pulse of the Christ who loves you and who calls you by your name. And the Christ is saying, surrender. Surrender your heart to love so that you can see the beauty of God in your life, in creation, in the animal kingdom. And all around you, you can feel love coming from the company of heaven. And Gaia places a mantle over you, the mantle of the universe, of protection. And instantly you know that your Earth Mother, our Earth Mother, is caressing you and thanking you for embracing the beauty of her kingdom and for the love you show the animal kingdom. That mantle is a mantle of beauty and protection allowing you engage with the beating heart of the cosmic Christ. And there is such healing from this heart. This heart is a vibrant, living, source of love. Let us be still now. Let us be still and allow the healing energies of the cosmic Christ with Gaia's mantle of protection empower us now to see the beauty of God in all of creation. And in seeing the beauty of God 
in the cathedral of life, our soul begins to dance to brother sun and sister moon. And there is now a sense of completeness. Relax now and just enjoy being in the presence of the Cosmic Christ who is sharing with you and me the beauty of the Cathedral of Nature. Cathedral of Hearts. And with every in-breath that we breathe, we are renewing our life, our spiritual life, our physical life. We're nurturing the balance of the masculine and the feminine energies of the Christ in Magdalena. Feel the love. Embrace the beauty of God in yourself. Embrace the divine beauty that created you, that calls you still by name to surrender to love and be ready for the influx of love and light coming to us in a matter of days. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. Just relax now. and be aware of love. Be aware that you are a spiritual Olympian for the Supreme and that the light, the light of 2012 has been ignited within you because you've embraced your beauty the beauty of God, a light shining in the dark. We ask the Christ to bless you now and to fill you with the peace of God. Just be still and know that He is here, that He is with you and that all will be well. I am a beloved child of God. Just feel the energy flowing around you, grounding you, protecting you, and know that you are loved and that nothing and no one can undermine the gift of God in your life. No one dare challenge the beauty of God within you for you are the hands and the feet and the beating heart of the Cosmic Christ in a world that has become despiritualized through fear, through greed, through weakness and materialism. But you are okay. You are safe now. Just relax in that knowledge and know 
that nothing will harm you, for you are protected through Gaia's mantle of love. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. May the cosmic Christ fill you with love, with peace and joy.